Hello future AI experts, welcome back to our exciting journey into artificial intelligence and machine learning. Today we're going to be setting up our very own AI lab right on our computers. I'll introduce some cool tools and libraries that will help us do amazing things with AI. If you're ready to turn your computer into an AI powerhouse, then let's dive in. Today we're going to be using a tool that is very useful on this journey, Google Collab. Google Collab is an online platform that lets us write and run Python code. It's perfect for AI and ML because it's easy to use and it doesn't require like any kind of setup and that gives us access to powerful computing resources. To access Collab, all you need is a web, uh, is a web browser and a Google account. So you can head over to collab.research.google.com and sign in. Once you're into your Google account, you'll see an interface that's uh, kind of like Google Drive. And here you can create new notebooks. These notebooks are basically digital labs for coding and they're all stored in the cloud. So let's create a new notebook. You're going to want to go to file and then you have, you have to click new notebook. Once you do that, a whole new tab opens and this is going to be our workspace. You can see these little like cells where you can type your Python code. You can also add new cells, you can move them around, and you can even add text cells that you want for your notes. Collab also auto saves your work, so you don't have to worry about losing any of it. Okay, so now I want to introduce you guys to some essential Python libraries that we're going to be using to do our AI coding. Let's start with NumPy. So NumPy is a Python library that's perfect for all the math operations that we're going to be doing. So let's import NumPy as NP. NP is going to be the, the nickname uh, since it's, it's much easier to write NP than to write out NumPy. So now we're going to create an array. So an array is basically, it's very similar to a Python list, uh, except it's a lot more faster and it's more uh, memory efficient. So I'm going to make my array right here, my array of numbers, and then I'm going to print uh, the array. Okay, and now after that, another cool thing we can do is we can actually do uh, mathematical operations with these arrays. And it's not, trust me, it's not what you think it is because it's a lot easier than working with Python lists whenever it comes to uh, doing math stuff on list elements. So let's print. All right. So what we have here is we have a array called num array, and that's basically a list of numbers from one to five. And then we have sum array, which is a uh, num array plus five. So if, if you've coded in Python before, this might seem a little weird uh, because it's like you're adding a list uh, to a integer. But when you actually run this code, what happens is that this array Instead of instead of a normal Python list where you'd have to you know go through a for loop and add five to each individual number, uh, NumPy arrays they actually do one math operation, whatever operation we choose that we chose plus five, and it applies that to every single element. So now instead of one, two, three, four, five, we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We just added five to each individual number. So. It, this is very useful in uh, handling data and we're going to be using NumPy a lot in the future. Now let's explore Pandas. Pandas is another library that is very very uh, important in data science but also in our Python uh, in our AI journey and so what I'm going to do here is first I'm going to make a data frame. So a data frame is like a table that's full of data uh, and it's a lot more efficient than a Python dictionary because it has a lot of more functions and a lot of more tools that we can use to easily store this data wherever we want it. And we can also index and access this data in much easier. So I'm going to use the data frame method to turn this uh, dictionary into a data frame. And now we're going to print our data frame. Now what we can do is we can also select just the age column There's because this uh, data frame is going to be basically like a column. Let me just run this so I can show you. Yeah, so age is a column of like 
each person and their age and if you want to access just that specific column what we're going to do is we are going to uh, assign a, a value to this variable ages which we're going to index the data frame to obtain that and then after that we're going to print uh let me just add a new line and then ages column and then we're going to print ages so ages again is just it's just a, a set of values which represents that age column uh we have a key error here let me just fix this really quickly it's ages it should be age because here i put age and here i put age i put ages so anyway this is the ages column and this basically just shows like the age of each person again it's it's not really uh, useful in in our example right now but it's going to be very very useful when we're uh working with data and how ai models can use this data so but i don't want to get into all of that right now i just want to uh show the, uh how pandas actually works now let's check out matplotlib matplotlib is the la last uh, library it's the last package that we're going to be using and matplotlib uh is very very important because it can help us actually visualize this data because a lot of the time we get lost in kind of uh just manipulating and changing and analyzing the data and we uh, we might like uh not really keep track of how the data is looking because graphs are very very important whenever we're working with data or statistics of any kind so we're gonna use uh we're gonna nickname our uh matplotlib library as plt because again it's a lot more easy to write now we're gonna title our graph let's just title it a uh, simple line plot and then we also want to label our x and y axis axes because uh, the, then we're gonna know what each represent okay and now finally we're going to show uh our data so what we're doing here is we have a uh our x-axis is going to be from one to five and our y-axis is going to be two to ten what this means is that actually let me just show you i'm going to run this and right here on the x-axis we have all, all these values from one to five and on the y-axis we have all these values from two to ten now this could represent really anything maybe the x-axis could represent uh maybe like time in seconds and then the y-axis could represent the height of a rocket again this is not at all like uh how uh, to scale or whatever but this is just kind of like how we can use this in like a real world scenario and we're going to be using this uh library to visualize how how accurate our ai can predict uh data based on the the uh accuracy okay now we've explored google collab and we've learned how to use numpy pandas and matplotlib for analyzing storing and visualizing data these tools are essential for uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning and now you know how to start using them in our next video we're going to like uh, dive a little deeper into AI concepts and how we can actually train AI models to use this data. But for then, uh, let's just keep experimenting with what you've learned today and I'll see you in the next video.